joined the club in 2009. My first year, I, I got on the bench once, but I didn't didn't actually make it onto the pitch. Um, so it wasn't until my second season, so that in 2010, um, that I actually made my debut. Um, and it was it wasn't a particularly nice game. It was at home to to Cardiff. Mark McMillan started, and as we were walking uh, into the change rooms at half time, he um, he got a back spasm and sort of collapsed on the floor. And I, I remember thinking to myself, oh God, like that means I'm, that means I'm on. Um, so I had sort of 15 minutes to sort of sit in the change room and sort of, yeah, sweat basically that I was that I was about to actually play a first team game for Bath. It's it's been a great season in terms of game time for me. I was sort of chasing down that that 150 appearance, which um, I might I might have been able to do this season, um, had the sort of the world been <laughs> been different. Yeah, I've, I've been immensely happy with how the season's gone for me personally and I've, I've enjoyed every minute in wearing the Bath shirt. I think my favourite game this year was probably the Worcester away game. I was, I was actually on the bench. It was a very tight game and this season's been immensely tight. You know, the, you, one week you're in third place, the next week you're in 11th. It's, it's, it's been a very tight league this year. Worcester are very good at home and you know they've got a little a little sort of fortress set up there and they're, they're an extremely difficult team to beat. Um, but yeah, I came off the bench and I felt like I made a good impact. And um, yeah, we, we got the win in the end, which was, which was really important. My favourite time uh, at the club would probably be that 14-15 uh, season. I actually went on loan to London Welsh the, the year before, which was brilliant. Um, I got loads of experience. So I, I, I signed a one year after that, which was sort of like a make or break contract year. Um, and fortunately it went really well for me. And we had those you know, 45 nil victories against Leicester. And then obviously the home semi-final as well, where we smashed them again was good fun. and, and that was my first game at Twickenham, actually, was the Premiership final, which was gutting to lose, but I still have massively fond memories of that year. It was just amazing how much blue, black and white there was. It completely sort of dwarfed the, the red that was there of the Saracens um, supporters. And getting off the bus was, was incredible and sort of doing that walk into, into the entrance of Twickenham was, yeah, it was, it was amazing. That's certainly something I'll never forget. My favourite game of all time in a Bath rugby shirt would probably, it's close between two games. Um, my, it was my second ever Premiership start, was the 45-0 at home to Leicester. That was a big important game to me because it was the first game that sort of Mike Ford backed me and said, no, actually, we're going to go with you as, as our number one choice and, and Stringer was on the bench. Um, so that was a massive moment in my career. You know, he, he's he's got 98 caps, immensely experienced and a, vo and a very good player. So to be selected ahead of him was was yeah, sort of I had to pinch myself at that moment. But I think probably my my favourite actually was was that season again. It was the Toulouse away. It was I think it was probably my first experience of a of a really big European game away in Toulouse. You know, they've got all the history there. I was lucky enough to get a try in that game as well. I actually, it's funny if you, if you watch the replay back, I actually threw the ball into touch and Anthony, you can see Anthony Watson going absolutely mad at me because I've, I've made a mistake, but it was, it was from that lineup that I actually got the try. So I, pre I pretended I knew what I was doing. We were really coming together as a team and putting in those performances and against such big teams and getting those big wins and stuff. I think that was, that will probably go down as my favorite game in a Bath shirt. It would have been nice to sort of say goodbye to the fans and I've built many sort of good relationships with them. Um, they've always been very supportive of me, even even in tough times. You know, I'll, I'll miss miss home days at the wreck. Um, they'll now be my away days for next year, for next year, which will, which again will be exciting uh, to turn left going into the change rooms instead of right. But um, just a massive thank you and I'm sure I'll still see most of you around. So thank you very much. To the players that I've, I've played with throughout the year in the Bath shirt, uh, just a massive thank you. You know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have achieved any, anything without without all of you and all the coaches and backroom staff as 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 well. It's been it's been a great ride. You guys have you guys have pushed me to be as good as I can be. Um, and yeah, I want to I want to thank you for that. I've massively enjoyed my time with all of you. Um, 
it's been it's been good fun training in horrible weather in nice weather playing in in big stadiums in in front of sort of 85,000 or playing in the A League in front of in front of the man and his dog um, I've I've enjoyed every single moment of it um, and I guess I, I, I owe all of you uh, a lot and a massive part of my life so a big thank you and I'll continue supporting the club it's you know it's, it's my hometown so um, no matter who's wearing the blue black and white I'll always always support you um, yeah, and just uh, just a massive thank you for all that you've done for me. Side, little chip ahead from Chris Cook needs to gather here to score. The chase is on.